Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's a wonderful day here at the Hannover Messe at the Hydrogen and Fuel Cells Europe. We are at the public forum. I welcome everybody. I invite you to sit down, to have a drink, to enjoy our next talk with our next guest. You already see a little interesting thing on stage, so stay tuned. My name is Mareike Schmalz, and the next topic will be Duisburg Hydrogen Capital, a big chance. So we're very excited for that one. Please welcome on stage Matthias Heiner, his hydrogen coordinator for the city of Duisburg. Hello, Mrs. Schmidt. Hi. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Yeah. I hope you're having a good time at the fair. Yeah, it is good time, good day, sunny outside, and much uh, activities here in this uh, hall. So yeah. Definitely. Very, yeah. Very good this topic yeah so the title is already quite interesting but before we really yeah. dive into it um, you are representing the city of Duisburg um, yeah feel free to tell us a little bit more about you and what brings you here correct my position is uh, the hydrogen coordinator for the city of Duisburg and uh, yeah the position is located in the economic uh, department of the city so it's uh, installed from the council of the city uh, because they have seen there are so many activities uh, around this uh, topic hydrogen and uh, so they decided to yeah to install such a position and i yeah started last year in uh, october in this position and yeah this is the situation and now you're here in hannover yeah. So, in case not everyone knows, as we are not in Duisburg today, um, Duisburg is Europe's largest steel production site and is also responsible for 2.5% of Germany's CO2 emissions, which is quite a relevant number. So, what role does hydrogen play for Duisburg and what activities are on the way here regarding the hydrogen capital? Yeah. We see in Duisburg we have the largest uh, steel site in Europe. This is uh, correct. Also the biggest uh, inland port. Um, so and uh, the specializations of uh, Duisburg also are the yeah producers or the industries with the highest uh, CO2 emissions. So uh, yeah, we have to work here to, to activate, to um, yeah, work with, with hydrogen to reduce such uh, CO2 uh, yeah, emissions in this way. So hydrogen capital, so as I explained, we have many uh, activities around. So Duisburg started uh, in an early stage in 2001 with the uh, hydrogen and fuser center, the ZBD. I think it's... Uh, Already, already known by, by all of uh, yeah, who are working in the hydrogen uh, sector, so it has a worldwide reputation. So this this is one point. But uh, as I started last year, the first uh, thing I uh, created was a map of Duisburg. So where are uh, the activities here? What what uh, is currently in this area of Duisburg, uh, yeah, possible. So, and uh, here you see the result. It's a map. Uh, it's divided into four different uh, groups. So, first is a project. This is uh, here in this uh, color. Then the economic, uh, the city group, and um, yeah, research and um, education also in the dark blue. So, and you can see over the complete uh, city area, you see different points where hydrogen activities uh, start. So, in the north, when we've been there, there's a project Hydrooxyvalsum, the Iconi uh, company, <coughs> a subsidiary of uh, Steag, uh, is planning here an electrolyzer with uh, 520 megawatts. And uh, also, there's a feasibility study already finished, and uh, they're now in the further planning. Then you see um, uh, below, 
there's the steel plant of uh, ThyssenKrupp steel, which needs a mong of uh, hydrogen in this uh, situation. So of uh, the energy transition also to reduce their, their um, CO2, um, CO2 emissions. So, and uh, yeah, they've started also with uh, building up a direct reduction uh, plant to reduce here to work with, uh, with uh, hydrogen to reduce or to produce steel, green steel, with reduced CO2 uh, amount. And then on the right side, then you see there are different pipelines. So for this um, uh, direct reduction plants, you need uh, a lot of uh, hydrogen for it. In the first step, around 80,000 tons uh, per year. So the thing is that uh, Duisburg needs here the connection to the pipeline, to the hydrogen uh, backbone network. So, and the first pipeline which will be installed is the Get H2, which will come from Lingen over Dorsten to, uh, yeah, and th to the city of Duisburg and then connect to the ThyssenKrupp uh, steel plant. Yeah, in the middle, you see the, um, the port of Duisburg. It's an inland port, the biggest inland port uh, worldwide. And uh, they're also uh, planning or, or installing currently um, a climate neutral um, direct uh, gateway terminal, Duisburg gateway terminal. So on this will be also um, powered by hydrogen, but it has also energy storage and, uh, yeah, solar uh, energy. Really nice. Yeah. So it looks like a big plan, and, yeah. and I like that you mapped it out. Uh, in case the audience, if you want to have a closer look at the map, you can definitely do that later on uh, at the booth. Um, mm. And you are also invited right now to ask questions, whether you have questions to our speaker. Just raise your hand and I will bring the microphone to <coughs> you. Um, but so far, you have already mentioned some of the partners that you've been working with or that you are working with, uh, to put it like that. Um, can you again explain who's involved in this big picture? Yeah, the, the green transformation uh it will only work uh, if it is accompanied with a social transformation. And in this case, the, um, uh, the employees need here a tailored uh, resolution or a tailored um, offer for education. So, and uh, this cannot be only uh, handled from the companies. So this is uh, why the city of Duisburg decided to build up here uh, with, with strong partners uh, from the region, from the Metropolis Ruhr, to build up here a um, yeah, hydrogen education center in Duisburg. So, yeah. so that's to educate the employees of the companies? Correct. So to, to bring them in the new, yeah. into the new technology? To bring them in the new technology, to offer them uh, yeah, further education for this process, for, this, for their work, and uh, yeah to give them uh, their um, uh, vision for the future. Then. Yeah, that's great. And I think yeah. that's a really important point. We're not talking about only a technology transformation. We're talking about a social transformation. Yeah. Um, so we also have to think about the people, the people that work in the technology, but also the people um, that live with the technology. Yeah. Um, what can you say? What chance do you see for the people, for the inhabitants of Duisburg? Yeah, for the all inhabitants, it is uh, a good way to reduce uh, CO2 uh, emissions. So this will be very important for, for us. So in the next uh, yeah, time to, to reduce the CO2 emissions and to have better living conditions in Duisburg. And uh, yeah, also to have the, the work in the city. And this is 
uh, important here. Yeah, so also. it's about yeah. making it sustainable, not only um, regarding emissions, but only yeah. regarding um, yeah, finding work for people, yeah. making, making the location sustainable and future-proof. Okay, so you've already been talking about actions regarding the steel industry and you talked yeah. about the port. Um, do you also include the topic of urban mobility? Yeah, also uh, urban mobility is uh, a big point in the city. So the council decided last year to buy 100 uh, hydrogen powered buses uh, okay. by 2030. Um, also, we have here um, two waste uh, collection vehicles uh, already in use in the city and five uh, uh, additional are, are ordered. So, so they run on hydrogen? The, they run on hydrogen, yeah. Okay, and they, the um, yeah, waste uh, collection uh, vehicle was the first in, in Germany, which was uh, oh, nice. yeah. got into... yeah. <laughs> use in by the Wirtschaftsbetriebe Duisburg. Okay. Yeah, that's a milestone. Yeah. Um, like, what are your experiences? Are you happy? I, I guess you are, because you ordered more of them. Yeah, it's, it works well, what I've heard from, from the colleagues. So, uh, but the point is we need, as all others, the hydrogen in the city, not only for the steel company, also for the other uh, companies and uh, business cases here. Yeah, definitely. So this is really an important point and only with this it will work. So the pipeline connection is the most important point for, for Duisburg that it will uh, come in the next uh, years or until uh, 2026, the get H2 is then, yeah, which, which pipeline will come uh, as next, will okay. be connected. So. And also, um, Duisburg is uh, also with the ZBT, the winner from a competition in the uh, yeah, national competition uh, for a yeah, technology and innovation center in Germany, one of four. Uh, it's called the TRI. It will be located uh, in the steel plant from uh, Hüttenwerke Krupp Mannesmann, HKM in the south of uh, Duisburg and uh, here we will also um, yeah, uh, handle all, all the questions about specification, uh, yeah, innovative development and uh, other things for the yeah, fuel cell uh, based uh, drives for the heavy duty industry. Okay, so you, you already mentioned some structural changes that need to be made regarding yeah. infrastructure. Um, also, you need a lot of, um, actually you need green energy, electric energy to, to produce green hydrogen. Mm -hmm. um, so is there a strategy of the city of Duisburg regarding this thing as well, or how do you approach it? Yeah, for green energy, this, uh, this is a good question because uh, Duisburg has not uh, the space for planning uh, wind turbines or something like that. So the only way is to uh, increase the solar power okay. so yeah. on the buildings. Um, but uh, we will see what, what will happen also in the future. It could be interesting to install at uh, some company areas uh, wind turbine, uh, yeah systems so but uh, yeah there are the regulations currently not uh, given this uh, yeah freedom of of planning so this is also a big point the regulations around uh, hydrogen so yeah big yeah point. so you will definitely focus on hydrogen as far as i understand yeah, yeah. um and I think the mission to make the city the hydrogen capital is a big one. It's a super important one. Yeah. Um, so I once again want to give the chance to the audience in case you have questions. Otherwise, I, I would uh, be interested in your personal opinion or more a personal wish. What would you like to see in the future happening 
what is your personal wish to, to see within the next Yeah, My, my personal years? wish is uh, to speed up the regulation to okay. that, that it will come faster to a resolution there to, yeah, that, that we can build such uh, pipelines and uh, electrolyzers um, you know, which are currently planned. So we do not lose time so at this moment so this is really important yeah, yeah it's it's an urgent topic yeah. we need to make changes as fast as possible yeah. so is there a concrete timeline on the project um, on the on this whole big picture that you can yeah as about? i uh, said before so the next big step is uh, in the steel company from ThyssenKrupp steel europe so there will be installed uh, the direct uh, reduction plant and uh, there we also need a pipeline connection and it is planned for end of uh, 2026 here in this case okay so yeah that's only a bit more than three years yeah yeah and also to yeah activate uh, the business in the region the city of duisburg has also created a yeah, uh, hydrogen association, uh, the hydrogen high region, uh, Rhein Ruhr. So it's uh, it started with 16 members, and uh, today around 40 members are in this uh, association. So yeah, we have also their activities to bring all together. So one important point is also that uh, the transformation cannot. Uh, work alone so we need here also that uh, the complete region works together so we are here also in a network with uh, the metropolis Ruhr, with the different uh, cities and uh, yeah, have here uh, yeah, discussion networking and so on yeah to to work together on this uh, aim yeah and for for a hydrogen uh, future then yeah so that's the green future. That's a good keyword. Uh, yeah. Working together, um, starting the dialogue. So I, I invite all of you um, to uh, visit Matthias Heiner at the booth. It is B03. Uh, that's the booth of the uh, ZPT. ZPT. And Correct. there you can meet him. There you can also have a closer look uh, at the roll-up. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing us the big master plan of the city of Duisburg. And yeah. Hope yeah. to see you again in the future. Thank you very much.